Summertime is a great time to get into African American fantasy fiction. Why is summertime the best time to get into African American fantasy fiction? Well, the kids are out of school, and this is the perfect opportunity to introduce them to African American fantasy fiction and characters that look like them and have their experiences. Now, in Hollywood, they're making all these action movies like Avengers, Age of Ultron, or, you know, Jurassic World, and all these other, other you know, fantasy movies. And in most of these movies, you know, the heroes are usually white, and they're usually male. And if they do have a black character in there, they're in an ancillary role. But when you read African American fantasy fiction, you see characters that are African American, they have African American experiences, they explore African American culture, they explore African American history, and they tell the stories about the black experience from a fantasy or science fiction perspective. And getting that perspective, you know, can give a child an insight and it can also open up their imagination and allow them to start seeing the world through a black lens. And why is it important for a child to see the world through a black lens? Because when a child starts seeing the world through a black lens, they start seeing themselves in the world and in the larger part of the world. Instead of just seeing themselves as, you know, ancillary characters in fantasy stories like your Star Wars or your Avengers or in other projects, they start seeing themselves, you know, as the main character and then they start thinking of, you know, taking the lead in their own lives and they start seeing themselves as a larger part of the world and seeing themselves as having an ability to make a contribution in the world. And this is why I believe it's very important to get kids into African American fantasy fiction during the summertime. Reading is always a great thing to do and when you read during the summer, you know, it keeps your mind open, it allows you to, um, you know, develop your vocabulary, it allows you to develop, you know, stronger literacy skills. And it helps you, you know, when you go back to school in the following semester, and what hap or, or the following school year. And when, well, after you, because you've done all this reading, you're already ready, you know, to take on the challenges of the next school year. And what I found, you know, from my own personal experience, is that reading is a lot of fun during the summer because, again, you have so much time. And you can just take the time and just sit there and read an entire book or a series of books and, you know, be able to enjoy them without having to interrupt things or to break or break away from them. And African American fantasy fiction, this is the perfect time of year to get into it again because it's just kids have nothing but time, and this is a great time to just introduce them to characters that look like them, have their experiences, have their have their culture, and you know open up a whole different world to African American people and show them you know fantasy from an African-American perspective. I've been an author of African-American fantasy fiction, you know, for the past 20 years, and one of the big series that I do for kid, for tweens and teens is the Isis series. The modern Isis series features the adventures of the goddess next door, and these stories are designed to be easy to read, easy to follow. Each story um, is part of a larger arc, but each story is single and self-contained in one volume. Um, I put the books all in paperback and I also put them in ebook form. And throughout the year, um, I usually offer, especially in the summertime, I do something called the Summer YA ebook series. This year I'm doing it exclusively on Kindle because that has the largest audience. I used to do it on Smashwords back in the day. And I may offer some titles on Smashwords later this August. But I, for, for right now, I'm offering. Um, several titles on Kindle. They're on Kindle Unlimited and you can borrow them for free if you have Amazon Prime and on random periods throughout the month of July and August I will be offering different titles in the ISIS series for free so all you have to do is just keep checking you know my page just click the link on the description box on a Saturday usually it's Saturdays I offer you know random ebooks for free so there's always plenty of great reading if you have a computer or a cell phone because I know a lot of kids, that's what they usually read on, or a tablet device. I'll have books up there. I also offer many books in on Kindle format, just for 99 cents, So, like the ISIS series. So, many of these books are affordable. And, you know, I, my whole goal is to get kids to start reading um, African American fantasy fiction, get people into the genre. And that's one of the reasons why I keep the price low, because I want to get people, you know, into this gateway so they can just start reading these books 
and getting into these characters and start seeing, you know, themselves in, an, in a fantasy situation or a fantasy type story arc. And because, you know, as I see it, sci-fi and fantasy make are very important for African-American kids to read because, one, African-American fantasy and science fiction um, makes a social commentary on the world around us. And two, it gives us ideas and inspirations for the future. And the social commentary, you know, it really makes us think about our, our, how our world is and what it's about and how things, you know, relate to how things are these days. And it makes us, you know, think about our world from a different perspective. And it, the whole thing with the whole um, thing with fantasy is that it helps us think about the future because, um, you know, shows like Star Trek and Star Wars and all that stuff, a lot of those devices we saw in there, like the um, communicators and the computers and stuff, are what we're using right now. And that's where a lot of people got their inspirations from, from watching shows like that. And this is why it's important for your kids to see stuff like this, because it gives them ideas for their own future and allows them to see, you know, a place for themselves in the world in the future. And what I try to do with the ISIS series is I try to, you know, fuse Egyptian mythology with African American history so people can not only look back but then also look ahead and see you know a place for themselves in the world as it relates you know to the history and and how everything relates you know from the mythology to the African American history and I want them to get it you know that understanding that being a hero is something that anyone can do that's why she's the goddess next door you know just a friend there ready to help you ready to support you and you know help kids navigate through the world. Um, the, the books in the Isis series, you know, follow like this. The first book in the modern Isis series is Isis Samari's Revenge. This one, it will be night is um, in paperback, but it's also available on Kindle. Um, getting ready to put it on Kindle Unlimited, so you'll be able to borrow this one for free. This is the first book in the modern Isis series. The second book is Isis the Ultimate Fight. Um, this one is a great story about how to overcome a bully. Um, this one, is going to be is just 99 cents. Um, this story, Isis the Beauty Myth, is a great story about um, beauty and body image and self image and self worth. And this one is on Kindle Unlimited, and you'll be able to borrow this one for free. I will be putting this one up for free later this month, um, and possibly next week. So you'll be able to pick this one up on a Saturday for free for your kids. Um, this one is the is the Isis, my sister, my friend of me, and this one is about sisters and relationships between sisters and sibling rivalry. This is a great positive story. Um, you really enjoy this one. This one is ninety nine cents on Kindle, and it's also available on paperback. This is great reading for kids. You know, anybody who has a sister, you'll really enjoy this one. This one is Isis, all about the goddess. This is a mystery story. Um, where Isis has to go into the art studio to stop a stalker. And this one is a one a lot of people really enjoy. This one is on Kindle Unlimited. And you can borrow this one for free if you have Amazon Prime. This one will be going up for free on July 4th and 5th, um, along with The Temptation of John Haynes. You'll be able to pick up both of those fantasy novels for free on July 4th and 5th. Um, this is Isis, Wrath of the Cyber Goddess. This one features a great cover by hero business artist Bill Walko. And this one follows up Isis the Beauty Myth. This one is the follow-up to Isis the Beauty Myth. And this one is an action-packed adventure. And it features a special guest star, John Haynes. And it's got a lot of action and adventure. Um, this is one of the best... This is, these two are one of the best stories in the Isis series, and I really urge you to get them. Isis Wrath of the Cyber Goddess is available on Kindle Unlimited. And you can borrow this for free. Um... This one should be going up for free near the end of July on a Saturday, so you'll be able to pick this one up for your kids if you want it then. It's also 99 cents on a regular day. This is Isis Power of the Princess. Um, this follows up Isis the Ultimate Fight. And this one will be available. This one will be available. Um, this one is available on Amazon Prime on Kindle Unlimited. Um, this one, I, it'll be for free later this month, sometime, I don't know, maybe even early first week of August, um, but it usually pops, I usually randomly put this one up now and again, 
This is the newest book in the Isis series, Isis Night of the Vampires. This features art by hero business artist Bill Walker on the cover. Great cover. Um, this is where Isis takes on a vampire brood. Um, this one is also available on Kindle Unlimited, and you can borrow this one for free. And this one, it was free about last month ago on Kindle um, a couple of Saturdays ago. Um, I may, I don't know if I want to put it back up, but you can buy this one for 99 cents if you have a Kindle. You can also get it on paperback. And every book in the ISIS series is available on, in paperback. And if you want to get the entire set of ISIS series books in paperback, you just head over to Amazon.com. Um, again, ISIS series is very positive, inspiring reading. Great reading for kids, for kids of all ages. I've even had adults, you know, pick up these books and enjoy them. And people of all ages can get into it. Again, every story is single and self-contained in a volume, yes. And it is part of a larger series, but like a comic book. And people can just get into them. And it's not a problem. Um, it's easy reading. It's a lot of fun. Um, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from people regarding the ISIS series. It's great African-American fantasy fiction. And I really want to get more people to start reading African-American fantasy fiction because not just my African-American fantasy fiction like the ISIS series here but other writers out there who are producing fantasy titles because I believe the earlier we get kids into fantasy fiction the more they'll get more excited about reading because when you start seeing you know characters that look like you and have your experiences then you can get into reading a genre and you'll just start reading on a regular basis and this is just something that I really am very passionate about. I really want to get more kids into African American fantasy fiction because I believe if they start reading stories about characters that have their that look like them and they and give them show them the world through their lens, they'll start getting you know excited about careers like STEM or, and um oh, and and like science tech and like that with technology and computers and engineering because. This is something I put in several of my stories, like um, Isis the Beauty Myth. I put, I talk about. Um, I just, there's a, a couple of chapters where I put STEM I concepts in there, and in Isis Wrath of the Cyber Goddess, I put a lot of STEM stuff in there, and I want to show people how how easy and fun and you know science, technology, engineering, and math are, so that they can see how these concepts apply to real life. And in books like, you know, Isis All About the Goddess, I know a lot of people might get a little antsy about the art nude on the cover, but this is to show people, you know, the world as it relates to the arts. And, you know, part of being in the arts is that you have to learn how to draw. And this is how people learn how to draw. They have to learn how to draw nudes first before they um, draw, you know, clothing and, uh, and clothing and costumes. And this is what I was going into because this story takes place at a college and I really wanted people to understand, you know, how people get an education in the arts, and what people and what people have to, and how people learn how to draw and learn how and learn the art of, um, you know, drawing. And I really wanted people to understand those concepts. Um, in other books in the Isis series, like again, like um, in Amari's Revenge, here I try to do, teach a story about, you know, trying to forgive and forget and move on. I try to put positive concepts in all these books, like with my sister, my friend, and me about sisters and sibling rivalry, and you know, in Ultimate Fight, I talk again, talk about bullies, and and also in Power of the Princess, I talk about bullies as well. But I always try to put a positive educational component in all my stories, and I try to give people, you know, not only a fancy story but an educational lesson as well. And I'm hoping that, you know, it, it's conveyed through. In the latest, most recent book, you know, Isis Night of Vampires, it crosses over with this other book, East Team Undercover, which also features a cover by girl business artist Bill Walker. And both of these books, again, single self-contained volumes, but they cross over to form one larger story arc. And in both of these stories, readers are going to learn some things about problem solving and working together and teamwork. And I try to make, you know, not only the fantasy component, but I want to put an educational component in each story. And again, I'm really urging people to go out and pick up the books in the ISA series, preferably in paperback. But I know a lot of people like ebooks. All the books are, that I've mentioned here, again, are just 99 cents. That some of them will be free on Saturdays for you to buy for free on Saturdays. If you, you know, I know a lot of people don't have money, but I also offer books 
on Amazon Prime. You can borrow them for free as well if you have Amazon Prime. And again, I also offer, and if you check my page, just click the link in the description box. I offer a lot of great African American fantasy fiction, and I also offer a lot of other positive titles for readers. And summertime is a great time to get into reading African American fantasy fiction. I'm urging you guys, you know, to just go out and give this genre a try because a lot of great stories out there. Um, I make every effort to try to reach readers with this genre because I really want people to start getting into it and seeing how great the writing actually is. And, you know, there's a lot of enjoyable stories out there, and I'm just really urging you to go out and, you know, take a chance on it. 99 cents is not a lot of money for an ebook, or, you know, if you go on the free days, you'll get a great title. Um, but just go out and give it a try, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I'm really just urging you to just give African American fantasy fiction that one shot, one story, and I believe that you will be hooked. That's all I have to say for this video. You comment, rate, and subscribe.